Today is a very special day for the world. It marks the 500th anniversary of one of the greatest stories in the fight to stop foreign invaders from coming in and taking over our lands. Yes, a story of a man and his followers who indeed stopped the invasion, killing their leader, Magellan. Then in a separate encounter, killing his replacement and brother-in-law and other leaders, and then they chased them out of the country with a fleet of ships. That's what Pigafetta's journal says, and we cover. This is an inspiration to the whole world who was being conquered by colonialism, yet this man and his people put up a standard and stopped them. The story of Lapu Lapu, 500 years ago, today. Wow. We cover this story from Antonio Pigafetta's journal in a recent paperback published internationally, and our books are being read in over 60 countries now. In The Search for King Solomon's Treasure, we prove this position overwhelmingly. And we commemorate this as well with high-end graphics in coffee table book format in Ophir, Philippines coffee table book. Want to know our sources? No problem. We release a free 300-page source book as well of the sources used to reach these conclusions. Follow along page by page with the actual source being quoted. You may have even heard about this either from a friend or in an old claim you found unsupported. And believe me, we found the same, which is why we set out as a team of researchers to prove where Ophir was, even if it was not in the Philippines. With 100% certainty, we conclude it most certainly is the Philippines and nowhere else. You may not know this because you have not reviewed all the evidence. And yes, I am talking to academics especially and all who may know some. But we assure you, if you have not reviewed this case, there are things you do not know. We dig deep into the Hebrew language, practically every scripture even related to the topic. We find connections in the Bible before even dealing with history, which we then find very abundant, such that not only does it lead to the Philippines, but literally the Philippines was named Ophir prior in written, documented, recorded history multiple times. That is not up for debate. Sometimes in Greek, sometimes in Hebrew, and even from other languages referring to the same land, and the Spanish especially, multiple times call the Philippines Ophir and Tarshish, even including Columbus, Magellan, Pigafetta essentially, historians throughout the 1600s, even a former prime minister of the Philippines in 1890. No other nation has such abundant history and no other nation fits this narrative. The Philippines is Ophir, but don't take my word for it nor anyone's. Examine the evidence for yourself. If you are a Filipino or even care about Southeast Asian history or even biblical history and geography, you owe it to yourself to review this case. You don't have to agree with everything we say, but if you want to try to oppose it, you must dis. Prove it, and no one has in over four years now. No scholar, no pastor, no priest, no rabbi, no academic, no blogger, no other YouTube channel, no one, and we dare them to attempt debate, has ever touched this case as it is too well proven and comprehensive. And you will find this. It is not enough to say, nuh-uh, nor very grown up, frankly. But again, you will have to see for yourself. Start your journey today. Go to OphirInstitute.com and you can purchase these books on Shopee Philippines or Amazon Worldwide. Links below and at the website. And our publishing of the Book of Jubilees, the Torah calendar, which houses exact directions to the Garden of Eden in the Philippines as the world's very oldest map of the world. 
Jubilees is also free in ebook for that matter. It is time to end debate without research, and we challenge everyone to review this evidence for yourself. We aren't going to those who lost the land of gold to ask their permission or advice as to whether we found what they lost. We are going to you all over the world directly because you are intelligent enough to review this for yourself. Your journey awaits. It's time to find the ancient land of gold and restore biblical and historical geography once and for all. And by the way, once you do, you will begin to understand end times prophecy, which you will never understand, never fully comprehend without this restored knowledge. We all know history is written by the victors, thus false, at least in part, admittedly. So come on and find the true history in these books. Lapu Lapu knew this, and so should you. Take advantage in April 2021 of our lockdown buy one take one special in the Philippines only, which ends April 30th. We also document our research as we go on our YouTube channel, which has over 10 million views and about 300 videos now. And that's even with YouTube censorship failing to notify our over 100,000 subscribers. Oh well, many of these are also available in Tagalog as well. Watch Solomon's Gold series in English or Tagalog, and we cover Lapu Lapu along the way as well. Follow this narrative through and we assure you most of you will likely agree with our conclusions. If nothing else, you will have your hands full attempting to disprove, which we welcome anyone to try. Many have, and many of those, have now contacted us with their support for our findings, in fact. Also, like us on Facebook at The God Culture Space Hyphen Space Original. Like this video and hit the subscribe button, but don't forget to click the bell. Or if you really wish to be notified of our videos, join our email list at thegodculture.com and fill out the pop-up form and we'll let you know since it is just seems too difficult for YouTube anymore. That alone tells you how important this message is and how we must be on the right track for such a large organization to take a position of censorship to stop this from getting out. Well, they will not, and they haven't, ultimately. It's been 500 years. Are you ready to awaken to the true history of your people? Yah bless to everyone.